Hi Algebra 2, I want to take you through this problem here um, that hopefully you've already worked and now we're just going to check our work together. So when you read this situation, you're given information about individual candy bars and cases of candy bars, individual jars of popcorns and popcorn and cases of popcorn. So inevitably what you should land on is that your variables should be cases of Hershey bars and cases of popcorn because um, then you can use the number information that they give you to write inequalities and kind of work that way. The information that you're given is that first of all just the number of candy bars and jars of popcorn that are in a case. So we've got 30 per case here and then 10 per case of popcorn and together they can order no more than 400 candy bars and jars of popcorn. And then you're told that you pay $10 per case candy bars and $20 per case of the popcorn and that you can't spend any more than $500. So there's your second constraint and then you have your two common sense constraints. You want to maximize your profit. So first of all, you have to figure out what that is. You're told that the candy bars are sold for a dollar each. So that means that you can make $30 per case and then the cost is $10. So the profit is $20 per case. So you can take 20 times those number of cases. With the popcorn, you charge $5 per jar. There's 10 jars in a case, so it's $50 per case, but then you need to subtract off the cost because the amount that you sell it minus your cost, that will equal, equal your profit. So then you take that profit of $30 times the number of cases. If you graph it on Desmos, I can't show you now because I'm on the um, document camera, but you should come up with these three vertices for the shaded region. And then when you check those into your profit equation, you'll end up with a profit of 750, 780, and 260 for each of those three situations. So the situation that will maximize that profit is to sell six cases of Hershey bar and 22 cases of 